In the popular 70s wartime TV series MASH, actor Larry Linville portrayed the finicky and somewhat naive Major Frank Burns. Throughout the first five seasons, Linville played his character with precision and comic flair, yet in 1977 he made the choice to bid farewell to the show. Facts First presents the real reason Larry Linville left MASH. He later regretted it. How Linville Came to Be a MASH Mainstay MASH, an undeniably classic TV series debuting in the early 70s, offered viewers a unique blend of humor and drama set against the harsh backdrop of the Korean War. The show followed the lives of a medical staff at a mobile army surgical hospital, painting a graphic picture of the camaraderie and challenges they faced daily. In the chaotic wartime environment, we met Major Frank Burns, brought to life by the talented Larry Linville. Linville, who was cast due to his adeptness in portraying complex characters, quickly became a staple of the show. Interestingly, he originally had intentions of becoming a pilot in his younger years, but after that dream petered out, he set his sights on Hollywood. After being cast in M.A.S.H., his first significant role, Linville masterfully depicted Burns as a character often at odds with his fellow surgeons, yet remained a vital part of the team's chemistry. This extraordinary portrayal kept audiences hooked for the first five seasons, amounting to a substantial 120 episodes. But in 1977, viewers found themselves saying goodbye to the beloved, albeit contentious, figure of Frank Burns. Linville decided to part ways with the series, leaving a gap in the close-knit group that made up the MASH ensemble. Why he left and was replaced In the riveting saga of MASH, the exit of Frank Burns marked a pivotal shift in the series' dynamic. From various recounts, it seems there were dual reasons contributing to this departure, one being the narrative arc of Burns and the other being Larry Linville's personal decision to move on. In the show's storyline, Frank Burns had been unraveling, notably struggling with Margaret leaving him and engaging in erratic behavior that even led to an awkward encounter with a general. These actions culminated in Burns being transferred stateside, a move that brought a certain jubilation amongst other characters like BJ, Hawkeye, and Colonel Potter. This was not only a chance to avoid the escalating embarrassments, but also an opportunity to hush whispers of mounting indiscretions. Linville, the man behind Burns, had reached a personal crossroads as well. After five years of dedicating himself to a role that was both challenging and somewhat confined in its scope, he opted not to renew his contract. Despite being loved by the cast and lauded for his skill in portraying a character that offered limited personal growth, Linville felt it was time to explore new horizons. Burns was a character caught in a loop of negativity, offering little space for evolution or depth. This exit paved the way for a fresh and more complex character to enter the scene. Dr. Charles Emerson Winchester III, played by David Ogden Steers, emerged as a successor who brought a richer layer of narrative complexity to the series. Unlike Burns, Winchester was not a mere one-note villain. He had dimensions that were deeper and more nuanced. This fostered both respect and disdain from his peers due to his superior surgical skills and sometimes pompous demeanor. As the series progressed, it was evident this change resonated exceptionally well with audiences. Winchester's character allowed for more intricate story arcs and a renewed tension in his interactions with Hawkeye, providing a richer texture to the beloved series. Thus, with a heavy heart, the MASH family bid farewell to Larry Linville and Frank Burns, welcoming a new era of narrative depth and complexity with the arrival of David Ogden Steers in the role of the multifaceted Charles Emerson Winchester III. Larry Linville's Post-MASH Journey Few characters managed to strike a chord like Major Frank Burns did in the first five seasons of MASH. Despite embodying a character that seemed to be at odds with almost everyone around him, Larry Linville managed to make Burns stand out. His portrayal of the character's staunch patriotism and tumultuous love affair with Major Houlihan won him much admiration and recognition. He never hesitated to share his experiences on MASH, especially with young people who were aspiring to carve their niche in the acting world. His connection with his role was deep, employing elements of, quote, nerd, moron, and slime to bring Burns to life, as he openly shared in a talk at Glassboro State University 
now Rowan University, in 1986. Despite his soaring fame, Linville remained grounded, emphasizing the importance of theater education. His visits to colleges nationwide were well-received, with students resonating deeply with the MASH characters, partly because the actors had theater backgrounds and weren't just quote-unquote Hollywood types. Linville, a graduate from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London, utilized these interactions to inspire young minds asserting that one's moment in the entertainment industry can come at any time. After bidding adieu to Frank Burns, Linville embarked on a diverse journey in the entertainment industry, gracing many films and television series with his talent. His career was marked by numerous appearances in series like Murder, She Wrote, Fantasy Island, and The Love Boat. Besides his television roles, Linville also featured in a string of movies, including Earth Girls Are Easy and Chud 2, Bud the Chud. The versatility in Linville's career is reflected in his roles, ranging from Randy Bigelow in Herbie the Love Bug to portraying a jealous ex-boyfriend. He continued to grace television screens in series like Paper Dolls and even ventured into the superhero world with an appearance on Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Remembering Larry Linville Larry's life was a menagerie of experiences, not just limited to his remarkable career, but extending to his personal life. He embraced matrimony five times, with his last wife, Deborah Guyton, standing by his side until his final moments. Sadly, his journey was cut short when health issues eventually surfaced, leading to the discovery of a malignant tumor beneath his sternum. Despite undergoing surgery to remove part of his lung in February of 1998, his health continued to deteriorate over the next two years. On April 10, 2000, Linville succumbed to pneumonia, a complication arising from cancer surgery, leaving the world to mourn the loss of a remarkable actor and inspirational person. His ashes found their resting place at sea off the coast of Bodega Bay, California, marking a solemn goodbye to a life lived fully and a career that spanned across diverse roles and genres. In retrospect, his journey from its early aspirations to become a NASA pilot to becoming a revered person in the entertainment industry is nothing short of inspiring. His words echoed across campuses, inspiring countless young minds to pursue their passions earnestly. Through his diverse roles and indomitable spirit, Linville showed that the magic of the entertainment industry lies in its ability to offer moments of stardom at the most unexpected times. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your memories of Larry Linville from MASH? And who is your favorite character from MASH? Let us know in the comment section below.